All right, well, he attacked Richmond, uh, well, attacked Longstreet outside of Richmond, and that forced him to waste a turn attacking the forces outside the city, but now he is besieging the city, and as you can see here, uh, Richmond defenses are besieged, but still intact. Now, here's what's incredibly effing irritating with this game and the mechanics of the game. And kind of at this point, I'm done relying on the whole enter the effing city button. So Longstreet, instead of entering the city, as you saw, he was on evade combat and we have the enter the city, which says literally click to order your army to enter the structure of your destination region as soon as possible. So what does he do? He goes to the next region. Now, this isn't the first or second time this has happened, right? We've seen this happen repeatedly throughout this game, where units will do this instead of going into their effing city. So this button is broken. It does not work. It is not to be relied upon. Yeah. Uh, so he should be in there right now. He's not. So what I'm going to do is keep him here, because if he attacks Richmond, at least he'll be here to hopefully move to the Sound of Guns, assuming he doesn't move his troops in and annihilate him. Um... But he should be inside Richmond, and the fact that he isn't, it just, as you can see here, right, I have 2,000, 1,500, and then 46, uh, 460. That's not a lot. That's uh, 35. That's, that's roughly 4,000. So this is a quarter of, of what's in here. That should be in here. Um, so, anyways. It is what it is. Uh, my excur my incur er, excursion into Charleston uh, worked out, although I don't know if I got a national morale from that. I did not. Uh, and then I think he engaged me and uh, kicked my butt. But uh, I did take it before, or actually, that's right. I went inside the city. So I was able to take it. I didn't get a national morale for it. You know, whatever. He's besieging Norfolk. But let's go over the Richmond battle here. Uh, as you can see, he's got 2,600 up here. He's got... 12,000 here, and then he's got 23,000 sitting in Richmond. I mean, <laughs> I, cannot, I cannot make this up. The the sheer number of troops that he has at this point in the game. I mean, this is insane. 23,000 plus 12.6 plus 2,600. I, it, it's mind boggling, right? So, the only hope that we have at this point is he's got two turns to take Richmond. If he misses a roll and is unable to besiege it, then he only has one turn. And the only way, as far as I understand the way the mechanics work, that you can take a city that has a redoubt is first you have to breach the walls and they have no defenses. And then the next turn you take the city. So let's just hope that's the rules and that's how it works. I don't know for sure. Uh, he's got another division here, Barlow, coming up. He's got another three divisions from here coming up. He's basically bringing everything he's got at this point, which makes sense. Yeah. Let's look at the battle. Richmond. Okay, so he had 280, so basically 285,000 troops attacking my measly 58,000 troops, which were outside the walls. Now, fortunately, I only lost 3,800, he lost 6,000, I was blue-green, but that meant Longstreet, instead of going into the town, percentage of units which were inside the city during the battle, which he didn't go inside the city, he like ran like a little pussy, uh, he lost 3,800 uh, troops, so now we're down to about, what, 54,000-ish in the city of Richmond. Uh, not a long battle, not much going on, but result, uh, the reason I want to pull this up is just to show you how many troops he actually has. And more on the way. Uh, that's not all of his army. He's got more coming. Yeah, so, not looking good. <laughs> um, here's Taylor. I'm keeping him detached just because these guys, I'm trying to let them like kind of heal up. <clears throat> and so, so long as he's not attached to the rest of the cores, these guys won't engage in battle if there's a battle. And then these are just a bunch of generals chilling out, hanging out. They don't have troops to follow. 
Clayburn is at a twenty is at two thousand power. Right, he's my most he's my strongest core, mainly because of his defense of seven. And then Jackson's uh, pretty beat up. He's about fifteen hundred. Uh, and basically what I did was I reorganized all of these different cores, just taking all the different divisions and doing what I could. Notice his supply is almost out, though. There's nothing I can do about that. Same thing for Claiborne, pretty much out of supply. Um, and I, I don't know if that's going to affect things. It might. He's down to 15. He's got 94, and his usage is 182. And Claiborne is going to use up all his supplies turn. Uh, I think for late December, I don't think this will influence anything. I could be wrong, but I don't think it would influence Jackson, for example, surrendering. But it definitely would if we were in January. And then Longstreet, you know, he is what he is. He's kind of out here being a little wussy. But I wonder, I don't even think I have ammo left. Yeah, I don't have any ammo left either. God, man, I'm, I'm like in bad shape. Uh, let's see here. Okay, I have enough ammo for two and a half battles, or one and a half battles with Jackson. And about the same with Claiborne. So I have enough for one and a half battles with those guys. And same with him. Well, he's good. He's, he's good for one battle. Yeah. All right. Ugh. All this time. All these hours. All of this strategy, as the famed President Bush would say. Down to this December 1865. This is just intense. All right, so down here at uh, New Orleans, he's besieging me, which is fine. I was like, you know what? <laughs> Bring it, bro. Uh, I just want to hold this because it's giving me money, so I'll take it. But he hasn't taken it, and I don't think he will take it, and we're, we're pretty well off here. I, I don't know how I already got a like massive eight defense here, which is pretty wild. But I already have that too, which is pretty cool. Uh, I retook, oh no, I thought it was Memphis, nope, I took the place down here, and I'm just trying to like, get strategic locations to get my national morale up at this point, that's what I'm trying to do. And I was going to do some of this guy, but he just could never really get replenished, so I think he's about done for this game as well. See if there's anything else to report on besides him just bringing more troops. I mean, this is really where it's at. This is it right here. 23,000, 2.6, 2,600, and then a bunch of these divisions coming with this what, right here. Wait, he's got, yeah, more divisions down. This is the core right here. That's what's going to come down to. All these hours down to this spot. Two turns. What do you think is going to happen? He's lost. <laughs> Jesus, crazy. 586,000. I've lost 513,000. His morale is 81. Mine's 95. Uh, I've taken 90,000 prisoners. Oh, man. All right. Let's, let's see what happens here. Let's run the turn. I'll see you guys on the flip side.